Hi Year 9, I hope each and every one of you are doing okay and turning what had potential to be a very negative chapter in our lives to something more positive. Each of you would have gained a different experience from lockdown and each of you would have responded in the situation in different ways. From this you would have grown, you would have matured and you would have gained an insight, but most of all I hope you've lived and I hope you've learned. On Friday the 27th of March, when the school closed its gates, I genuinely thought that we would be back by Easter, having got over this virus and life would have returned to normal. However, I'm now learning to work with a new normal and I'm doing okay. I'm making mistakes, I'm reconnecting with people I lost touch with, I'm learning and I'm listening more. I'm exercising, I'm baking and I'm Netflix binging. I'm also working harder than ever before and I'm changing and I'm okay with that. Now we've had time to reflect on ourselves, our qualities, our flaws, past choices, our future. We can be worse than we were and we can be better, but we will never be the same. On a global scale, there has been the ongoing crisis of climate change. In January, the UK saw extreme flooding and storms that caused millions of pounds worth of damage and left hundreds of families homeless. The communities were simply unable to prepare for the changes in the type of weather they were used to experiencing. At the same time, we've seen the country make real changes in our attitude and approach to climate change. And for the first time since 1882, Britain is, uh, now gets the majority of its power from renewable energy sources. It's a real sign that things are changing for the better and that we are starting to care about our environment. On the 25th of May, George Floyd died whilst in police custody, which sparked a public outcry for change. The public opinion on race, criminal justice and the Black Lives Movement has leaped forward. Over the past few weeks, support for Black Lives Matter has increased by nearly as much as it did in the previous two years with the public supporting the movement. In the US, we have seen changes in America's, America's vote to support the movement. Statistics suggest that all ages are engaged and the support of the movement in every race is supported, shifting the public's previous opinions and views. In the UK, we have seen the Black Lives Matter movement being supported through protests, at sporting fixtures and demonstrations up and down the country. Then in March, coronavirus affected us all. We were forced to make huge sacrifices and changes to the way we live our daily lives. Shops, restaurants and bars were told to close. Supermarket workers and delivery drivers were suddenly vital in ensuring the country didn't go hungry. Toilet rolls were the most sought after commodity you could get your hands on and we had to adapt to, to communications with friends and family through video chat and social media. And then who could forget, schools closed. For the first time since World War II, the nation's schools shut their doors and you, your parents and your teachers were forced to change the way that you have been taught your entire school lives. It has been hard. All of a sudden, instead of being face to face with your teachers and classmates, you were having to learn through a computer screen on your own. You had to find ways to motivate yourself to do the work to the expected standard. You had to think of other ways to find the answer when normally you could find it simply by putting your hand up. This, these last four months would have changed all of us in some way. Ways that we may not even realise yet. But what is important now is how we react to these changes. How we can turn what has happened this year into a good thing. One way that you have already started to do this is with the early start of your GCSE option subjects. <coughs> by logging on and doing the work set by your new teachers, you have put yourself in a better position than many of the year groups before you and you will hit the ground running when we come back in September. Many other challenges will present themselves to you in school in the near future. How will you adapt to those changes? A few changes have happened back at Wangels since we last saw each other. You may or may not be aware but I will no longer be leading you as your head of year. Instead I will move to a position called the Raising Standards Lead. My job will be to take an overview of both current Year 8 and Year 9s. I will focus on your achievements and work with you to becoming the best you can possibly be. However, I have not left you out in the rain to fend for yourselves. I have left you in the very capable hands of Mr Reynolds. Mr Reynolds has been your Assistant Head of Year for the past two years and it is with great pleasure that I can officially say that he is your new Head of Year. You are a fantastic year group, the best. I do have the privilege of still being able to work with you all, but I know you are in the safe hands with Mr Reynolds and I wish him all the very best. Despite all of this change, there will be a lot that will feel familiar when you return. The school site remains unchanged from when you left it. Your uniforms will make you feel part of the Wangels community again. 
and the expectation that you do your best will be just some of the things that you can expect to remain unchanged when you return. We cannot wait to see you in September and see what changes have happened with each of you over the last six months from March to September. Work hard for these last few weeks of online school, enjoy your summer and we'll see you soon.